What's going on, everybody? Uh, welcome back to another ad hoc OBIEE video. Today, I'll be talking to you about duplicate rows and how to get rid of some of those duplicates in your query. Um, unlike previous videos where we were operating out of our institutional training environment, I am in the live site today. Um, I want to provide you guys with a good visualization or example of duplicate rows. And sometimes in our institutional training environment, those scenarios are kind of hard to replicate just based on the limited data that we have. There's still not gonna be any PII in this video, um, but as always, I encourage you to log into the live site and follow along with me on your end. Now you can see here, I've just added a few columns. I got full name, military education, long description, and I have email address. As always, I have my baseline filter of soldier active is equal to or is in one. Now, whenever I'm building a query, um, whether or not I'm dealing with duplicate rows or the, the analysis just isn't giving me what I think it should. One of the TTPs that I like to use that I'm gonna share with you is I like to filter that full name to myself. So I only wanna see my record because no one knows my record better than me. And I think it really helps me zero in on what might be wrong with the analysis. And I can figure it out a lot quicker than I can if I'm looking at hundreds of records. Um, so that's kind of what I use, whether or not I'm dealing with duplicate rows or the queries just not giving me what I think it should, I'll filter out by my name and uh, try and figure it out that way. So I'm just gonna check the results tab and see what this simple uh, analysis is spitting out. Here we can see my full name is repeated four times. I've got multiple rows from my mill ed and I've got multiple rows from my email address. So what I wanna do first is go back to our criteria page and let's talk about the repeated rows. Now, if you hover over your toolbar for full name and select column properties, you should have a column format tab. Under column format, we're going to change this value suppression for our full name column from repeat to suppress. As you can see in this illustration, it's basically going to list my name once and any other repeated rows will be repeated within this one suppressed row or value. So if we select OK and check our results again, you can see now my name is only listed once and the other four rows in each column are listed beside it. Go back to my criteria tab. So when we talk about duplicate rows getting returned, it's important to understand that IPSE is historical, meaning I'm no longer just deleting the old record or transaction for the sole purpose of adding a new one. I'm inactivating that old record and the new record becomes active. A good example would be address. So if I'm changing my address, that previous address doesn't get removed or deleted. That record becomes inactive and the new record is now active or my most recent active. The same would apply with military education. If Warrant Officer Basic Course is my current military education, but I just attended or completed Warrant Officer Advanced Course, WOBIC becomes inactive, WOAC becomes active. So I'm not deleting old records. And this becomes, this logic becomes very important when we start talking about duplicate rows because there's some filters that you need to add um, in order to get your report to tell you what you want. So if we stick with our military education for a second, I'll just type in military education in my subject area. There's some keywords or columns that you should be looking for in your report. Now under military education, you should have a column entitled military education effective status. Go ahead and bring that one over. And I'm also looking for military education, most recent active. So if I hover over my military education effective status, I want to filter that column to say, 
Give me all military education with an effective status that's equal to or is in alpha or active. So I'm going to check my alpha box. I'm going to hover over military education most recent active. And I want to filter that column to say is equal to or is in Y or yes. So I'm telling this analysis to give me my military education effective status that's only active. Not only that, give me the most recent active record. Give me the most current active record. We should know by now that just because we added the filter doesn't mean I have to keep the columns. So I'm just going to get rid of those two columns, make my report look cleaner, check my results and see what it did. So you can see here we're a little bit closer. Now my mill ed's only a basic course, but I still have my two emails listed. I'm going to go back to my criteria page. And I'm going to type in email in my subject area. And the column we want to pull over is preferred email flag. You hover over preferred email flag. We want to filter that to say my preferred email flag is equal to or is in Y or yes. So give me the email address, but I only want to see the email that the soldier has or member has um, checked preferred and modify a person. Only give me the preferred email. I'm going to delete that column and check my results. So now you can see I filter this report to only show one row. Now, when you're dealing with more complex queries, obviously you're going to have to search for more most recent active or effective status columns to add additional filters and try and get your report um, as best as you can for not spitting out duplicate rows. But hopefully some of these TTPs or basic fundamentals will help you out now when you're building your queries or trying to get rid of some of those duplicates. That's all we have for you on this short video. Um, I, I hope you got something out of it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Please follow us on Mill Suite. If you got any questions on this video, please leave them in the comments section. Um, I know I haven't mentioned it in previous videos, but if any of you ever need any assistance on a query, you have a question in ad hoc OBIEE, please don't be afraid to reach out to me on Microsoft Teams. I'm the only CW2 Brady Sheridan out there in um, global so shoot me a message i certainly don't mind um, helping out if i can that's the only way we're all going to get better is if we continue to collaborate so thanks for tuning in and we look forward to seeing you on the next video defendant sir